username, password. Verify your username. Okay, this is my username, C Romero, and also verify your working directory. This is home C Romero. Now create the key pair. Okay, uh, to configure SSH server to log in with a key pair authentication, create a private key for client and a public key for server. SSH key gen. Enter the file. By default is this. Um, by default is the directory that SSH and file ID RSA. Enter. Use the default. So the directory was created. Enter the passphrase. Enter and again. Okay, this is the fingerprint SHA256. And the image. Now use the list, a uh, long list with option L to verify the contents of the directory SSH. And you have two files, ID RSI and uh, ID RSI that public. Now verify the IP address of this server. IP address. The IPv4 address is 231 and IPv6 address 231. This is the Linux client. For example, verify your user. My user is root, for example. And my working directory is also root. So you can create a directory, make a directory that SSH here. Okay. Uh, the file exists. Very nice. You can list with uh, ls option A. Okay. Um, if exists. Also, you can uh, verify the contents, uh, list the contents of that directory. Uh, known host is the only file and find uh, a way to transfer the private key from the server to the client. For example, use the SCP uh, command, the username on the server, the IPv4 or IPv6 address, 231. In this case, an IPv4 column, the home directory, zero mirror directory, that SSH directory and uh, ID dash RSI. This is the this is the source. And the destination will be this local directory that SSH. 
dot ssh okay enter use the password and it's transferred so verify the directory and now you have the the private key also verify also verify the privileges for this uh, directory and the contents this is the private key and you can read and write but i need to execute this later so permit the execution use the ch mode command to permit execution of this directory or this file okay id rsa ssh enter and then verify now you can execute this this file Now, on the server, disable the password authentication. Access as root super user dash root password and configure the following file. I will use Beam Editor on SSH SSHD config file. Okay, uh, column set number to view the num number of lines and on line 73 password authentication is yes. So we change this to now. I key to insert. Now you are on insert mode and change this to now. Escape key in column right and quit. Column WQ. Enter and restart the service. System CDL start SSH demon SSHD. Okay, is system CTL ready? Exit from root from root user. Now verify if you are the correct user. Okay, this is my user, my working directory, and uh, rename the following file uh, ls option l dot ssh. Rename the idrsi public key. Okay, rename dot ssh id dot ssh uh, dot public and rename this file dot ssh and use the following name authorized keys enter and verify now this is the new name And on the client, try to access, use the passphrase. And now, success. You are on the server. Very nice. Very nice. Exit. For example, on Windows, go to your directory on local disk C users and use your 
directory and look at this file that SSH file and you can paste the private key and for example from a USB drive copy the file to the directory see user directory and dot ssh and paste here okay now open the powershell and now try to access with ssh using IPv4 or IPv6 Enter Yes uh, Passphrase And very nice Now you are on the server Okay. Exit. For example, download uh, Pudi Key Generator. Okay, from this side. Okay, um, Pudi on Windows. Uh, the download page for, for, for example 64 bit okay install this next next Add shortcut, install, finish. Okay, this is the shortcut, but go to installation directory, uh, see. Program files, PUDI, PUDI, GIN, PUDI generator. Load the, the file. Remember the place where uh, was placed on C user. Zero mirror uh, SSH all files and use the private key open passphrase. Okay, success. Okay. and save private key okay remember it's a private key and save the private key save for example on this file you can create the name uh, rsa id foodie save Okay, now uh, close this, go to PUDI, go to connection, SSH, expand this, uh, go to authentication. 
Then I specify the, the file here. Browse, then go to C uh, users my local directory SSH and use this. Go to session the IP address port twenty two. Open username passphrase success exit okay if you are in another client uh, go to users directory if you don't have the SSH, if you don't if, if you don't have the private key, try to use PuDi to access the the server. Yes, username. Disconnected. 